Okay, I need to charge a battery, but today I'm gonna be filming a week in my life. It's currently Monday, but it is like late Monday. Oh, yep, yeah, both chargers are dead, so mm, I'm gonna let these charge and I'll be back. Okay, psych guys, I found a charged battery. So for today's video, I'm doing a week in my life. It's Monday, but it's like nine o'clock at night because I just decided I was gonna film this video like just 10 minutes ago, five minutes ago. Basically, this is just gonna be a like realistic, chill week in my life. Next weekend is Halloween, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for Halloween. I'm pretty sure me and Maddie are gonna hang out and do something and we're gonna match Halloween costumes, so we still gotta figure that out and plan out exactly what we're gonna wear. I think we're actually gonna be cheetahs. I'll show you guys what I think I'm gonna wear. I have this super cute cheetah skirt that I got from Princess Polly and I think that would be really nice and then I also got this like black corset top from Amazon and I think that that would go really nice with this so I think that's what I'm gonna wear I don't know what shoes I'll wear but I think that's what we decided on so yeah that'll be fun but I have literally all of these clothes right here I got Princess Polly clothes and then I just have like regular laundry that I need to put up so I need to get that done sometime this week I cleaned my room today I cleaned out Obi's litter box so she's like clean. She's already messed it up, but it was clean. And then I sweeped my floor. Don't mind. My floor has like paint all over it. So sorry about that. Then I have that to do. And then I also washed my bedding because Obi peed and pooped all over it. Once again, I'm trying to break her from doing that. But she literally pees and poops on my bed 24-7. So if you have any tips on like how to break your bunnies of doing that, just let me know. I watched Linda and the Bunnies, a video on it. And she basically just said that you need to wash it like every time she pees on it. And then you need to take like a paper towel and like soak up some of the pee and put it in the litter box and then she knows like this is where you pee which it's weird because she knows to pee in the litter box like she pees in the litter box but she just likes to like mark her territory on here and she also said that it's usually because like they want to feel closer to you so they're like marking that you're like theirs I guess or whatever but I don't know anyways I washed my bed today last night I stayed at my grandparents house because they went out of town for the weekend so yeah I was at my grandparents house until one but now I'm home and I actually think I'm gonna open up some P.O. box mail I picked up some of the mail for my P.O. box like a couple days ago and I've just like waited to open it but look you see this piece of mail they like ripped it i think we'll open this one first just because r.i.p i got a bunch of letters this time and i only got like two packages well that really really sucks okay if you sent me this this is your letter they literally lost your package so i don't know what it was supposed to be but there's literally nothing in here so i'm so sorry i don't know if you want to like resend me it or something i'm so sorry that that happened that really really sucks wow that's never happened to me before ever so i'm so sorry hurry anyways moving forward i have a few other letters so we're gonna go ahead and open these so this one is from a girl named taylor she just got me a little package thing and then she also wrote me a letter look at this <laughs> she was just on my back. Your birthday was yesterday. Happy late birthday. I'm so sorry. Today's the 26th, but your birthday was Sunday. So happy birthday. Thank you so much, Taylor. I love that. That's so sweet. Thank you. Okay, now let's see what she got for me. Okay, I think it's bracelets. <gasps> These are precious. What the heck? I love these. I literally wanted some like Alex and Ani. I don't know if these are actually Alex and Ani, but it's definitely like the style that the Alex and Ani bracelets are. And I literally just the other day, I was like looking up Alex and Ani bracelets. So this is so cool. I love that. Thank you so much. I'm going to put these on right now. Thank you so much, hen. Next letter we have is from Haley Fry. I cover out her address, but she literally decorated this so cute, you guys. Oh my God. And the back is even cuter. Damnation for life. I love that. Obi is so cute. Thank you. And yes, that's right. That's how you spell it. You have really cute handwriting. Oh, thank you so much. That was so sweet. I love reading you guys' letter. It's insane. Like, it's really nice, like, putting... Ugh, I'm so ugly, getting emotional. I can feel the tears coming on, so hold on, let me stop myself. I love, like, getting to read stuff from you guys because it's, like, putting, like, not actual faces, but, like, somewhat faces to the numbers, you know? Like, seeing that they're real people and not just numbers, if you know what I'm saying. I think this is a bracelet. Oh, that's so cute. It's, like, a little cross. This is what she got me. It's a cute little cross. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on as well. Look how cute. Added it to my collection. The next letter is from Mackenzie Bennett. I don't have my glasses on right now, so I like not really see very well oh you're so cute i love that i'm glad that you're getting your life back together i love that for you girl i'm so proud of you okay sorry i got a little emotional there the next one is from a smith my jetta's name is jada cam is really good what is my favorite tattoo i have i honestly don't have a favorite i love them all thank you so much audrey and then we have this little package this is from a girl named emma some jewelry oh my god and some pics of sticks 
Hi Savannah, my name is Emma. I'm 15 years old and I have my own business, Heavenly by Emma. I've sent you just a few of my adorable products. I hope you love them. You are so gorgeous and so inspiring. I love watching your videos. Okay, here is her Instagram and her TikTok so you guys can go follow her right here. And then she gave me a ton of jewelry. Again, here is her little info card so you guys can go buy some stuff from her. So the first thing she got me are these cute little butterfly earrings and necklace. Isn't that so cute? And then the next item are these little gold angel face earrings. Oh, these are cute. So these are like some longer butterfly earrings. They just are like kind of long chain ones. And then the next thing are these little gold butterfly hoops and she included some pink butterflies. So I guess you could like change these out. And then the next are just some simple little silver butterfly hoops. So that's everything that she got me. Thank you so much, Emma. I cannot wait to wear them. The next package that I got is from a company called Jude Jewelers. Sorry if you hear Obi in the background. She's being a butthole. Thank you, Brianna. Her Instagram is here. I'll block out her number. But that's her Instagram right here if you guys want to go follow her She ordered me something off of Amazon and that is so cute. Oh my god Okay, so it's this good vibes only like star necklace. Oh my god. I love this. This is so cute Thank you so much, hun. You guys are literally the sweetest people ever. So that's everything that I have to unbox today. I actually went by the post office tonight whenever me, my mom, my sister, we went and like ran some errands. And I went by the post office and there's a card thing in there. So that means I have to go pick up a box from the front because it was too big to fit into my PO box. So tomorrow before the post office closes, I'm going to go, or I don't know if I'll actually go tomorrow, but sometime before this week is over, I'm going to go and pick up the box. Anyways, I think that's all we're going to do for today because I probably vlogged a lot for Monday and it's literally not even a full day so we're gonna wait until tomorrow and then I'll vlog some more it's currently almost 10 30 and I'm getting on my zoom call my blackboard call but I am so tired okay we're gonna go get up and make a coffee because I can't today like I'm so tired I finally got an Apple watch charger so now I can okay so it's only 10 40 and what is this piece of hair anyways it's only 10 40 but he said that we have a quiz usually when we have the quiz we don't have to get on the blackboard for that day so he'll just we'll get on he'll have to be like oh, okay you have quiz today and then We'll do our quiz. So there's my quiz. I'm actually supposed to be writing five essays about this class and I have not started. And we were supposed to be writing them this whole entire time, but I'm oblivious and I didn't know. And we they'd like talk about it like here and there in the class. And one time I was like, what like assignment are y'all talking about? And he was like, oh no, there's no assignments. You're good. So then I was like, okay, never mind. Like I'm just tripping. And then like I went and looked and like, yeah, there are five essays. So I'm just way behind right now but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take this quiz it's currently 11:30. i finished my quiz and now i'm currently uploading footage into well i already uploaded it but basically i was uploading footage into final cut so that i could edit i did a shishar cap makeup look last night i was gonna try to put a clip of like me in it when i had it done but i completely forgot anyways i better edit that because i want that video to go up either today or tomorrow because i wanted to do one last like halloween makeup look before october's over so i did the shishar cat look and if y'all go watch it please go watch it actually not if please go watch it because i worked so hard on it like it literally took me so long and it didn't even turn out like as good as i wanted it to do so trouble i went through just please go hype it up for me like go like it or something but i literally went through heck putting it on my face and then taking it off was a bitch. so yeah go watch it please <laughs> Okay, so I just got done like going through and adding the music. I just downloaded this like free copyright like 10 minute song thing from YouTube and then I like edited everything but now I have to go through and do the voiceover. You guys definitely said that y'all like me to talk through them better but this look was so hard that like talking through it was just not gonna work. We were just gonna do the voiceover. It was a lot easier and there was a lot of like talking and stuff going on in the house at the time when I filmed this. So yeah, I basically just had to edit out the talking out and then we just decided to do voiceover. When I was filming it so that's what we're doing 
Okay, so it's currently almost 3 o'clock and I got done like editing all of it but not like with all of the voiceover part. But I did actually finish my first lab exam for my biology class. So now I just have to do my lecture exam. But I'm actually going to go run to the post office to pick up my packages. Okay, I literally could not figure out what to wear for the life of me. But I just kept the same sweatshirt on and I just put on some black leggings and my white Adidas shoes. Just got to the post office. Okay, so since I got a slip, I have to go to the front and get the package. I'm just gonna open them at the post office. Hopefully nobody gets mad at me. The literal nicest little old lady was in there and she was talking to me while I was in here. I was actually in the wrong line, but oh well. Okay, so the first package I got is from Liana Ritchie from I think New Jersey. Hopefully nobody gets mad at me for sitting here, but there's a lot of parking, so. Ooh, I see a bunch of stuff. Oh, they're wrapped so cute, you guys. Look at that. It's kind of bright, but you yeah, see that? Her Etsy shop is Shop Liana Richie. I'm so sorry. I said Richie this whole entire time. It's Rochelle. I sound so stupid. I'm so sorry. It's Shop Liana Rochelle. It's her Etsy shop. Okay, so she provided us with a coupon code. It is capital Savway, and this gets you guys 10% off of at checkout, and that's when it expires and everything, so you guys can go shop, and that is her. Her, like tiktok and instagram as well so she sent me some extra backs and then she sent me three items oh my god it's getting so cold i'm gonna need to hurry it up i'm freezing these are so cute i love the packaging girl keep it up oh uh, these are cute okay so these are just some blue and pink tie-dye earrings i love having p.o box literally like christmas every time i get something oh these are so cute okay so these are some cute little stars and then the last one that we got is Oh, these are so fun. So these are some cute little Halloween earrings. So these are everything that I got from her. So you guys should go check out her page. Thank you so much. And then this is what I had to go wait in line for. So this is from, oh my god, these are homemade candles. Oh, it's just LaVie's Wicks. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. Okay, so it is Anaya Zoe is the owner. Here's her information so you guys can go follow her. This is her company. Okay, so it's a snickerdoodle candle. She said, hey girl, my name is Anaya. I own a handmade candle making business. All my candles are plant-based and free from harsh chemicals and toxins. Wow, that's amazing. This is one of my favorites from the fall collection. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. I'm so excited. I love candles. Oh my god, this is packaged so cute. I love it. Ooh, this looks super cute. It is cinnamon sugar, honey, vanilla, butter, handmade. Oh my god, look at that. Ooh, this smells fire. Wow. Um, okay. Sweet. Thank you so much. I check my P.O. box pretty frequently, so if you guys want to send me anything, I'll put my P.O. box right here, but I usually always check it, and me and my mom both have a key, so basically if I can't come look, she'll come look for me. So if you guys would like to send me a letter, or if you have like a small business or anything like that, I would love to shout you guys out. So yeah, but now I'm gonna head home, and I'll probably just chill, honestly, or edit. I don't know. I don't really have much to do. I don't do anything really throughout the week. My days usually just consist of schoolwork, watching TV or editing or filming, watching my nephew and that's literally it. Like I do not do anything all day. It is now 8.30 at night and I just got out the shower as you can tell and I'm going to be doing my hair treatment. So I do this about every 10 days. I've only ever done it once but we're going to be doing it every 10 days. So basically you wash your hair. I've already washed my hair. I haven't put conditioner in it. I just shampooed it. And then you take this cream and basically after you're done shampooing you dry off with a towel and apply to the whole parts of your hair. Rinse out with like lukewarm water after 5 to 20 minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and coat my my hair it looks kind of like that everybody that i read the reviews and stuff they all like raved about it so hopefully this helps with all the other stuff that i'm doing to help with my hair growth and then i just take a clip and clip my hair up and then i'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes and then we're gonna just wait until my hair is ready to be washed out okay i'm just gonna light this candle that i got today and then i'm gonna edit there we go oh my god Look how cute. my nephew ready for bed so now i'm gonna do my hair curve so basically i use a mark anthony leave-in conditioner for the grow i got this from ulta just the other day and 
Can I hear him? <laughs> He's really upset right now. But anyways, I'm going to put some of this in my hair. And then I've been using a combination of these two combs. So this one with like the hook and then this one that's just like plain. I basically just kind of brush through my hair now with combs. Or at least I try to. If I'm impatient, I'll just use a brush. All right, so once I am done combing it, I'll just go in with this hair serum that I also got off Amazon. And I don't know, I use about a pump of it and I like it so far. And I just run it in through the ends of my hair. All right, I'm pretty much gonna call it a night now. I'm probably gonna just edit until my parents go to sleep. And then once they go to sleep, then I'll probably go in the living room and watch some TV. And then as soon as I get tired, I'll come back in my room and actually go to sleep. It's now 11.30, it's Wednesday, and I just woke up. I woke up earlier and I fed Obi, but now I'm just like back in bed, and I'm just gonna chill. I kinda want some cereal. Kinda sounds good. Today is about to probably be my least productive day of the week out of all of them, and I can already tell, but I'm gonna make me a meal replacement shake. 310 Nutrition sent me some of their products, so that's what I'm going to use today to make my shake. These are their cute little bottles. They have so much stuff. I'll go through what they sent me really quickly before we get started. They first sent me some little packets that I can like take on the go with me. So I had vanilla, I have salty caramel, and then I had two chocolates, but I already drank them. And then I got two of these little drink things and you put it in your water and it just hydrates, energizes, and alkalizes your body and stuff. And they gave me a peach punch and a cherry limeade. And then they sent me a bigger cup and they also sent me a yoga ball. I just haven't blown it up yet. And then I also got this peanut butter powder and I put it in my shake the other day and it was super good. It like made it taste like a Reese's Pieces. And then they also sent me some resistance bands. I have not used these yet, but it looks super duper nice quality. But today I'm gonna be trying their pumpkin spice meal replacement shake. Usually I don't eat breakfast, so that's why I really like the shakes because usually I'll just drink like a smoothie, but it's just like a regular like yogurt one, you know? So now I'm like getting kind of like a meal, but not really, but like I'm gonna feel like I have a meal. All right, so basically to make your shake, you're gonna take your cup and you're gonna get cold water. Basically, you're gonna fill up to the eight ounce line. Once you do that, you're gonna take one scoop of your shake mix and then i'm also going to take a scoop of collagen and add that into there as well collagen is really good for if you want to grow out your hair and your nails and like your skin and stuff it's also good for other things but you put a scoop in okay and you put the cap on and you twist the lid Definitely pumpkin spicy. I'm just about to sit in here and drink my shake and then in a little bit my sister has to go run an errand So I'm gonna watch my nephew for like maybe like 20 minutes and then she'll be back But yeah, thank you so much to 32 nutrition for sending me their stuff If you're interested in like health or fitness or anything like that They have really good products and I'll have their page linked down below and I'll also have my discount code So you guys can use that as well. And yeah, I can't wait to try all the flavors I've so far I've tried the chocolate and this one and I love them both. So yeah, I'm really excited all right, so I'm currently on anti-duty. He is gassy. So I'm gonna go ahead and change him really quickly so he can get out of this stinky diaper. I know it's probably not comfortable. I just changed his diaper. I don't know if y'all can hear him in the background, but he's in his like little, I don't know what it's called, but it basically just like moves. And can y'all hear him? He's so stinking cute, you guys. And for everybody asking, like, how is he? He's doing good. But um, I'm just about to edit this vlog like what i have so far or i don't know like i kind of want to edit but then i kind of don't i don't know we'll see okay so i just got back i have my burrito and my chips and i'm just watching the vampire diaries she is cleaning him he's pooped everywhere so she's doing that but i'm just gonna eat I have Obi's lettuce and stuff, and I'm gonna feed her dinner. It's like 6 o'clock, usually I feed her like 5.30. I'm gonna put her greens in first because usually she loves her pellets more than her greens. But I don't know, she's just a weirdie. So I'm gonna do about that much greens, and then we take a scoop full of her pellets. And then that's her dinner. And then we do vitamins. And these are the ones that she's taking right now. It's her favorite part of her dinner. And then my room kind of stinks, so I'm just gonna light this candle. 
first try never done that before okay so that's pretty much all i'm gonna do for the night she's just gonna eat her dinner i'll probably take a shower and wash off my body and then i don't know if i already said this but i posted a video so if you guys haven't watched it go watch it i'll put it over there but it's just basically a vlog with maddie and i like love this vlog so much because it was so funny like i laughed the whole entire time i was editing so if you haven't watched it you should go watch it like i said it'll be right there it is currently Thursday and I literally woke up today with the most excruciating back pain. I've been having really bad back pain for like, I don't know, the last two weeks, but not like every day. It was just like usually when I would just slept on the couch. So then I was like, okay, no more sleeping on the couch. I just started sleeping in my room again. My back is still hurting, so I don't know what to do. I'm about to take some ibuprofen and then hopefully the pain kind of stops. Usually when I take ibuprofen, it gets better, so we'll see. But I'm about to get on my desk discussion for my theater class and then i think me and maddie are gonna go thrifting today so i'll probably have to take a shower and get ready and all that so it's currently like 12 30 and i have literally been in bed all day i got up to use the restroom and to brush my teeth and then to get a smoothie and that's literally it i don't know sometimes i just have these days where i literally just don't feel like doing anything i just want to lay in bed or like part of the day i'll be like super hype and then the other parts of the day i'm like just super not i kind of want to take a nap so that's exactly what i'm gonna do it's now almost two o'clock and i'm finally getting up i'm gonna go take a shower because literally i cannot stay in here any longer obi is getting on my nerves she keeps scratching at my closet doors and like popping them open she's literally pooped everywhere in here such a bad girl today yeah i can't i can't do this anymore i'm gonna go take a shower and then i'll see you guys once i get out of it okay i just got out the shower but i'm about to put you guys on something it's 2 30 now and i'm about to put you on the best smelling baby lotion so i don't know if there's any baby lotion fiends out there but my grandma has been a stan of baby lotion for literally as long as i can remember i think she literally only wears baby lotion so she always has baby lotion in her house right i have here with me the regular baby lotion it's the cheap version but same thing this one right here though baby magic fire 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 my grandma has had this in her bathroom for like the longest time and every single time i come over to her house i don't use any of her other baby lotions i only use this one because it smells so good so the last time i went over there i was like mimi where do you get baby magic from like i really want to get it so i can start using it and she was like oh we never use it like just take it so i took it and smells so bomb if you like baby lotion or like you just need like a lotion for after your showers or whatever baby magic anyways i'm just doing my little skincare for the day like my basic like midday skincare so i'm just gonna take some of that toner and then we've been using this avino clear complexion i need to pick out an outfit because me and maddie are gonna go thrifting today and i really want to go to this thrift in downtown dallas that i keep seeing all over tiktok but i'm gonna go on pinterest really quick see if i can find something that i kind of have some of the clothes are ready I literally have a no style so whatever's trending at the time that's gonna be my style I'm just I'm not very good with clothing I wish I was like if you were really good with clothing props to you because I really wish I was but mm, just not Okay, so I just finished getting ready. Everything is from Princess Polly. So jeans, shirt, necklaces, earrings. And then even I'm bringing these glasses from Princess Polly in this bag. And then I just paired it with these black vans because these are literally the only shoes that I have that are black. And then this is just a bracelet that I got in my P.O. box from one of you guys. So yeah, that's just the fit. Maddie is waiting for her mom to get home and then she's gonna head over to my house. I don't know if we're gonna ride in her car or my car, but we'll probably figure that out once she gets here gross in it it looked like you know the um what is it the chaff check it looked just like that it was so gross <laughs> okay so i'm with maddie now and we just got to this like parking lot and we're gonna walk around now and just go find cute places to take pictures and then you can finally see me actually ready for once and then we're gonna try to go to this like vintage shop and see if we can find some really cute clothing items but that was like seven so we're gonna try to get and yeah squeeze the time then so we're taking pictures. We just took pictures at this like, I don't know, weird place. We're on this weird Antique road. Antique museum. Yeah. And Looks then like we took pictures eyes. like back there. Yeah, I really did. If you want to see our pictures, you could go on my Instagram and her Instagram. They'll be right there. We'll see if it looks right. We'll see. They'll look good. I just got back home. It is now about 8.15 and had a very successful photo shoot type thing. We went and we just walked around Dallas and took pictures and then we went to this like bowl dega place in Dallas and we got acai bowls. That's my bowl. I got like a blue and coconut thing and then I got banana and just like granola and peanut butter drizzle. But those are just some of the pictures that I got. So yeah, that was the photo shoot. But now I'm just gonna go hang out in the living room with my sister and my nephew, my mom, and then... I'll just go to sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey y'all, 
it's finally friday literally what is wrong with my hair today camera's coming up and we're gonna go out to dinner it's like two o'clock and i'm just not waking up because i keep waking up with the most excruciating back pain ever and this morning i woke up at like 7 30 and i went in and walked into the living room got some ibuprofen ate some cereal but like it was so hard to even like turn over to get out of the bed because my back hurt that bad but yeah so i didn't really get a lot of sleep so i'm just now finally waking up but i have to go watch my nephew so my sister can get ready for the day and i'm just gonna sit in there and play with him it's about 4 30 right now and i'm about to start getting ready cameron's on his way we're probably gonna go get korean barbecue or we're probably gonna go get hot pot so i'm just getting ready now i don't know exactly what i'm gonna wear yet but i kind of have an idea so yeah but now i'm gonna wash my face and brush my teeth and do all of that so i can start doing my makeup i literally have not done anything all day my sister door dashed us some chick-fil-a so i ate that but besides that i've just been sitting in the living room watching tv with so my sister my nephew and that's literally all i've done today first thing i'm gonna do is tone my face i'm just using the dickinson's witch hazel toner the last time i checked his location to see how close he was he was in arlington so that's about 30 minutes from my house so he's probably like halfway so he'll probably get here as i'm filming this video yep he's in dallas now dang he is still far he is 35 minutes away i've been driving for like uh ever and it says that i'm gonna get that 521 because there's so much traffic Basically, while I was on the phone with him, I used the Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer, and then I also used this 111 Skin, I don't know, some booster drops, whatever. I just mix those two, kind of. But now I'm gonna do my concealer foundation thing. So I use the Born This Way, because it's like the only shade that matches me for the winter time. Yesterday, I kind of put on a lot of makeup when I did my um, photo shoot, so I'm gonna try not to do as much makeup, but I still wanna go for that kind of look. Our shower broke, so I can't even shower to go. I was gonna shower and shave my legs and everything, but I can't even do it because our shower literally like broke like it won't even come out of the shower head It like comes out of the like cord of the shower. So can't even take a shower I'll just take a shower at my grandparents house tomorrow Because tomorrow night me and maddie are hanging out and we're gonna dress up really cute for halloween and stuff And I do not want to freaking have hairy legs. Yeah, we're gonna definitely take a shower and shave for tomorrow And it's also my nephew's first halloween. So i'm super excited. He's gonna be a pumpkin I was a pumpkin for my first halloween and fun story. I literally fell in the bobbing for apples bin like my aunt used to host these like little halloween things for the family at her house and she would kind of make like a little haunted house type thing and there would be like bobbing for apples and then like a little thing that the kids could walk through and like play with like eyeballs and like brains and things like that when it was like all like food stuff you know what i'm saying yeah she used to do that and my first halloween i fell in the bobbing for apples so it's fun. Last night, me and my sister watched the Dirt movie. It's basically about Motley Crue and their band and stuff and like how they came to be and whatever. But if you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. They made it in like 2019, but we just watched it or at least I just watched it for the first time. And it was honestly so good. Like I really liked it. And then, oh my God, you guys, I literally just fell off a bus or something. Like I don't know where I've been, but you guys, literally Taylor Momsen. I don't know if that's how you say her last name, but the girl who plays Ginny Humphrey in Gossip Girl, she literally has like a rock heavy metal band i don't know if that's what you would classify it as but literally she has one and i did not freaking know that and she is so freaking bomb like what the heck i'm so obsessed with her now i'm literally gonna listen to all of her songs and be her biggest fan she is like such a dope person dude like whoa and now i'm like obsessed like i follow her instagram i was like watching all her videos last night i was like whoa i did not know that also i didn't even know she played cindy freaking lou who she is a dope chick like like, what the heck? I did not know that she was the one who played Cindy Lou Who. Where have I been? Like, literally, where have I been? I don't know. But I'm so happy I'm out from underneath the rock. Mm -hmm. 